Hello there, internet dwellers. My name is Baz, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are reacting to something that I completely went over my head, apparently. There was a hidden video in the new Walton Files video, and that hidden video is called Lacrimosa. Lacrimosa in Latin means weeping. I didn't totally search that up. I'm just really, really knowledgeable and sexy. Oh, no. So I thought, you know, we're just going to do a nice short video today, finishing off the rest of the Walton Files so far. I'm assuming that the next part of the Walton Files will be uploaded at the end of this month. But then again, I'm, I'm not so sure. Anyway, the description reads as follows. Report 90892, May 4th, 1974. Brighton City Police Department, WRR Frank Davis. Felix Archer Cranken reportedly arrived at the station in the morning on May 3rd. He had a broken pair of glasses, dirty blue pants, and a yellow dress shirt covered in dirt and blood. When I got the call, he was already taken into custody. We sat him down for a few hours and he revealed valuable information about a case we were previously told about earlier the same day by Mr. Jack Walton. Walton's two youngest kids, Ed and Molly Walton, had disappeared with Cranken the night prior. Felix's alibi stated he was unconscious or about for about 20 minutes. When he woke up, the kid had ran off. Interesting. So he's saying the kids ran off? How are you going to explain your car, though? Your car is busted up, is it not? Did he just get rid of it? Did he bury it? Bury the car? What is wrong with me? Anyway, so that's the backstory. So it, it appears like... Um, so... Felix did go to the police, but had an alibi that the kids ran off and he went to look for them because he was unconscious. I don't know how he could get away with doing that. I feel like the police would probably hold him for more questions. I I don't know. I guess if you don't know, you don't know, but all they've got to do is take the dirt and match it to the soil, I guess, in that area. But they need to know where that area is because if he doesn't tell them about what actually happened, then it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm absolutely blabbering on. Let's just get on with this, shall we? So it's Lacrimosa by the Walton Files. We're going to jump straight in. Here we go. 7 minutes 22. Music. Wait, hang on. Are they, are they at the place? Clear Hill River, Michigan. May 4th, 1974. Oh dear. Oh my god. Okay, so they're... What is that? Wait, so they, they did find the location? I'm confused. Oh, did he, did he admit to crashing the car? Drunk. Or something. I I don't know. Did did he do that? What does that say? The CT console is a data the disc. Tech console is a data disc filled with okay, all the vital fine. information of the bond burgers and animatronics. Uh huh. The console contains the main patterns for the robot's movements and interactions with the customers. Okay. The console allows the animatronic to have advanced interactions with the audience. Most notable one being the walk around feature which allows the character to roam around the place. Okay. That's pretty cool. We, we, we... Protocol. The console allows the robot to visualize its surroundings. Okay, so we've seen this in the main video, like how it actually works, and, you know, we've seen it kind of up and about, and I guess sometimes it didn't work in the testing phase, and the robots would, or the animatronics would fall over tables. This avoids the character falling, bumping onto objects, or okay. even customers. All right. This feature is called mass tracking. And it works as a basic radar for the animatronic. Okay. The map tracking feature records audio for safety reasons. Once the console is removed from the mech, technicians are allowed to see the recording from the animatronic's perspective. Uh -huh. If any console recording contains any error or faulty programming, please contact Charles Brooks. Okay, once the console disk is removed from the... Okay, allowed to see the recording of the animatronic's perspective. So... Does that mean that... There's going to be a perspective of Bon killing Susan. I guess that's what we saw in the last one, right? Oh, I'm finding facial features. Right, this yes. Technology is still a little faulty and in testing phases, as the console can only detect a limited amount of combination, which means a person could easily Hello. mistaken for only what? Detect a limited amount of combination, which means a person could easily Hello. Uh, I'm I'm calling to inform uh, my my colleague, or well, my friend, Susan. Susan, hasn't shown up in a few days. 
Oh, yeah, Charles was the person that was working with Susan on these animatronics. So he doesn't know that she is literally inside one of the things she's working on. You may say they also heard Imagine that. It must stink, though, right? That must absolutely reek of, like, crap and blood and all sorts. That's what got the FNAF restaurant shut down. Maybe, oh, we'll, we'll see. We'll really see what happens. worried over here that something may have happened to her. Is he going to wipe himself down? Apparently she was here on the 30th, but I'm not sure. I, I called in sick that Let's day. See the Phantom of the Opera. What's going on Please, here? If anyone has any information, call me. Oh. Please. Okay, so that was Bon. They literally just go by Bon. Ugh. So, but I, I'm still confused as to who Bon actually is, because it seems like they were just a spirit, like a vengeful spirit, before anything ever happened. Unless it's like, we'll, we'll see. It's Banny. Oh, she's upside down. So this is facial tracking. This is the recording of the facial tracking, but it's upside down. Oh, oh my goodness. That's horrible. I hate that. That's just, I don't know why, why stuff like that freaks me out. I guess it's just unnatural, isn't it? Uncanny. Okay, so Banny's up and about now. Oh, man. So, I'm guessing she's getting accustomed to her new body. But she can't talk? Because she's technically... Is she technically dead? They said that she's not actually dead. Her heart's still beating. But I don't know what that means. I guess now it's latched on to this vessel... That she just lives through this thing now. That's a big old empty room right there. Why is that sound? Why is that meant to be? Is this meant to be like a recording of what they saw? What's this then? It's a tape. Ugh. Hey, at least clean up the suit a little bit. Bond's bad at hiding. Okay, so the knockings are coming from the TV. Okay, I've got to interject here because just watching myself back is so cringe. It's only after and when I'm editing that I realize things. So basically what we're seeing here is some kind of the purgatory that Susan's going through. She's stuck in this like dark, dingy maze with Bond, presumably. And the TV that we just saw there is her perspective from outside, like from an uh, actual reality. That's what Banny is seeing. That's what I assume anyway. And the noise that we're hearing is... Susan like breathing like ragged breathing, but I don't think she's actually alive bond said in the previous episode They've got to latch onto a vessel to keep the spirit alive So technically they're not alive, but the spirit is alive and that's what we can hear breathing anyway I'll carry on the video now Ugh. What who is, is that bond? This is such a unique kind of animation style as well, isn't it? You don't you don't see any other video like this. Right. Oh, is, that looks like the uh, purgatory world. Oh, bit of a POV here. Oh. 
Oh god, okay, I'm guessing that was Bon. Maybe preventing Banny from getting to the other side, like actually finding some peace. Okay, so there was a lot to unwrap right there, and maybe I need to go back and watch the Walton Files again, just to kind of make sense of it, but I feel like this these are callbacks to the bunny is dying or stabbing scene, and it's basically Bon put Banny in this kind of purgatory state where he's just tormenting her and i still don't know who bon is at this point but it's he's obviously a, you know he's a jerk he's a, he's not a very nice guy let's be honest he's torturing this person and someone said in the comments that because the the system doesn't really recognize faces that well sometimes they can mistake people for others there was a quote from brian stells who was one of the first kind of night watchman repairman was it or just a night watchman of the K2, like the facility where all of the animatronics were stored. And he said something like, he thought I was her. That could mean like, he thought I was Susan, but it's making sense now why that was said because genuinely the whole system got messed up. Well, there we go, guys. That was Lacrimosa, which is the unlisted video of the Walton Files 4. This series just keeps getting more and more interesting. And the fact that, no, like, I don't know what, what, so Felix is just free? That makes no sense to me. I don't know why Felix would be free. Because especially if they're like searching the area in which like the kids went missing, surely they would find evidence. And it's only a matter of time before they do. And probably Felix knows that. Maybe he's just gone and like dipped. He knows he's gonna get arrested. So he goes away. We will see in time what actually happens with all that. And like, you, you know, what happened with Jack? That's still to be answered. From what I can tell, things that were done in Walton Files 1 and 2 maybe will be kind of picked up more on in these kind of unlisted tapes, which will be interesting. So maybe we'll get a more, a de more kind of detailed thing on what happened to Rosemary as well. That'll be interesting. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to go subscribe to the Walton Files, like the video, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.